modern men want a traditional woman, but they don't want to be a traditional man. So you want a woman to come home from a job, clean, cook, do the laundry, take care of the kids, and you guys are both going to work. Do you see how that don't make sense? No, it does it make sense. sense. And yes, I do want you and to I do that. So you're uh, telling me that yeah. a woman has to go work like a man every day, and a man goes work, and he's tired when he gets home. A woman's not tired. She has to clean, cook, do the dishes, do the laundry. Are you kidding me? First of all, yelling doesn't mean you're winning an argument. It's a sign of low intelligence. Okay. Your point is invalid, and you sound like the rest of these unwedded women talking about, I'm going to go to work like you. Do you want me to cook, clean? If that was the case, so what? Yes, you're going to cook, clean, do this and do that. And guess what? He taking the trash out. He fixing the house. He making sure this. They all have different responsibilities That's and different ridiculous. roles. A lot of modern day women don't even know that they're not fit to be a wife. And you think I'm not fit to be a wife? <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but the answer is hell no. And not only that, I was like literally staring at her nose when the camera shot went straight to her. And I was like, what is this AK-47 on her face? And she looks pregnant. I'm thinking in my head, like, we know she has no man, but she's pregnant and she ain't got no husband. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. And of course, yeah, none of these women that come on these panels typically are wifey material they're just good for fun good for play play and send them on back to the cold hard streets nobody talks about how when you start dating those guys that are out of your league or above you nobody talks about like how that shit makes you feel like as a woman i don't want to say like you know i i definitely do want a man that is above me that can lead a great man but you know nobody talks about how them niggas make you feel when they try to belittle you and make you feel like shit and you should just be happy that them niggas is around. Eh, 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 eh. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you we don't care. Well, man, first of all, men don't care about your feelings about it, how it makes you feel because your feelings change with the wind and they understand that. That's how they're able to net you. And number two, of course you should be grateful that you're around these type of guys because you need to be on thin ice every time that you deal with these type of dudes and stop trying to equalize and mm -mm -mm, I don't like the way that makes me feel. Get all that stuff out of the way because until you understand that, these type of guys are going to replace you. It's that simple. You're not that special. You need to calm down. You're too used to dealing with dudes that are giving you free validation just for existing and just giving up their wallet, you know, with no struggle. It doesn't work that way. If you want to get into the big boy league, you got to play by the big boy rules. Nobody talks about that. And I'm just here to say that shit don't feel good. Okay. So I understand why us as women choose men that are projects and that we can fix up because those men actually make us feel loved and cared for. When I'm dealing with a man that is above me, you know, more education than me, much wiser, comes from a better background than me, all of that shit. It's a damn shame when you women are so used to losing, you don't realize when you've won. I don't know why this woman mentioned those guys in the first play that she can build with and you know going out of her league where are those dudes now they're sitting in your friend zone about you know 189 of those guys and those guys are the perfect guys you're saying oh yeah well that's why g g girls don't go and deal with guys that are out of their league that's why they rather deal with those type of guys because you want to manipulate and control those guys. That's the thing. You can't control alpha males. You can't control high value men. You can't control guys who are on a higher plateau than you. And once you get up there, you don't like the way it tastes because you understand that you are not the center of attention. You're too spoiled in the dating market. You've been dealing with too many people. That's why your friend zone list is freaking ridiculous. It's like a phone book because you have all these options, but the guys that you actually want, you're not ready for those rules. You're not ready to deal with the man who has other women on the side and you're actually fighting to compete for that man. Oh, compete, compete, compete. Now I got your attention. Yes, women have to compete for men, especially men that are way above, way out of their tax bracket and they're swinging way out of their league for, just like you. <laughs> this is why women, they don't understand. They put their feelings ahead of everything. It's ridiculous but they don't want to play by the rules so what do they do they end up single and then at the end of the day they marry one of those dudes in their friend zone so they don't die alone with plants cats and dogs and it just gets worse but that's the thing man is either you going to deal with an alpha male and his problems get on his level understand the rules of engagement and relinquish your feelings or 
You just get with a simp. Your call. $30 literally isn't enough to buy lunch. Like, what am I buying with $30 for lunch? Like, what kind of bitch do he think I am? That's how I imagine that girl FaceTime Cole went with her friend. I just want to know, like, what kind of lunch did she have in mind for that particular day? That $30 wasn't enough. Because, baby, $30 will feed me for the whole day. I don't eat breakfast. Chipotle bowl for lunch. Chipotle bowl for dinner. Maybe a little Chipotle for lunch. Pizza for dinner. A little chopped cheese. Like, $30 will probably make me, two, like, two days. Feed me two days. And I'm not even complaining because the other day, somebody sent me $2. Like... <laughs> But it's really crazy to me how ungrateful some people are because that man ain't have to send you nothing. You could have fed it yourself. Especially if y'all haven't even been talking that long and he's just trying to do like a nice little gesture. Like, what did you expect? Why would you expect $100? What lunch cost $100? And please don't start with the, oh, the girls who get it, get it. Bitch, you're entitled. You're entitled. And if you need more than $30 worth of food for lunch, then bitch, you're big backed. You're big backed. And I really feel like no, not not giving y'all men excuses. I'm not giving y'all excuses. But I feel like this is why some of the genuine men be a little scared to do nice things like that. Because it's like some of y'all really be making it seem like nothing is ever going to be enough. Well, first of all, whoever is giving modern women nowadays money is absolutely an idiot. I would not be sending modern women any money whatsoever. Uh, most modern women work. They got their own money. They don't need us. They don't need our money. They don't need no man. But... Uh, now this is what you should do if you're dealing with a chick and you do send her money and you're actually you know dealing with her or whatever or you're vetting her send her like 20 bucks and then see what she comes back or what what she brings or what she uh ends up doing with that money and i'm not talking about somebody who's at work where you send them money i'm talking about actually you know giving them the money if they don't come back with some tacos or you know ground beef taco shells all of the fixings like you know the vegetables and stuff to actually cook then you got to get rid of her bro <laughs> if she not making a meal with that bro if she not cooking it pretty much and going to the store she gotta go bro that's just that's just my thoughts on it uh, that's your definition that's your definition that's single woman that's your definition single woman a married man's definition is quite different a pick me as a woman that caters to her man the way a traditional woman should pick me as a woman is probably the first in line to get married and become a wife over a baby mama. We have a difference of opinion on that word. And your mic is muted. Thank you. I let you talk that bullshit for five minutes. The fact of the matter is there's nothing wrong with a woman catering to her man if he is worthy to be catered to. Masculine woman at ease. Uh, that's the story of the modern woman's life, trying to change definition and use new tactics to shame men into dating them and not dating the type of women who actually get picked for a relationship. That's how pitiful and how low that society is stooped. Absolutely ridiculous. Man, get your passport. Who are you, bro? Yeah, you. Who are you, bro? Yeah. I'm Gil. You Gil? I'm looking for Keisha. Yeah, you was the one in her DM. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. We played you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. We got your cash out. We appreciate you, boss. You a freak in the DMs, too. Yeah. We'll expose you, boss. No, no, no. You a freak, boss. What's in the box? 12 piece spicy. Put it down or we'll expose you. Put it down. You came with flowers, too, boss? Oh my god. <laughs> you came with flowers, boss? Put it down, boss. Walk off, boss. Sim! She hate it when I leave, love it when I stay. Trying to make a living. No, baby, not today.